Today, the Progressive Caucus in yeah. the United States Congress, yeah. uh, which is helmed by Pramila Jayapal, endorsed Chantel Brown, who uh, is a corporate hack, and Johnny Come Lately, who's trying to basically pretend to be progressive. She defeated Nina Turner in the special election in August of last year. Uh, she only won by 4,000 votes. Uh, there is a rematch in the beginning of May. Uh, she's now a congressperson. Nina is running against her again. Uh, and the Progressive Caucus, with again, led by Pramila Jayapal, somehow endorsed the corporate hack over the progressive Nina Turner. Um, David Sirota tweeted, which I think is a pretty good summer, uh, summary. Let's be clear. This is very likely Pramila Jayapal selling out the entire movement because of her unbridled ambitions to get a fancy but meaningless leadership title among a House Democratic caucus that will be obliterated in the midterm elections. A total betrayal on every level. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, not, it's, not only, it's not only a total betrayal. It's totally, totally it, it kind of reminds me of uh, Kamala Harris a little bit. Remember yeah. when she was a senator for five minutes, she signed on to Bernie Sanders' Medicare for All bill. Everybody cheered. Oh, look, she's moving to the left. I said, yeah, she can sign on to whatever she wants. Uh, yeah. But let's see if she actually gets power. She runs as a candidate. She sprinted away from Medicare for All faster than Michael Jackson moonwalked. And Chantel Brown, she joined the Progressive Caucus one day before Nina Turner announced she was running again against Chantel Brown. Obviously, Chantel Brown knew that she, Nina Turner was going to run, so she joins the Progressive Caucus a day before. She also joined, Colin, you just had it, the New Democrat Coalition, which is literally the business-friendly i.e. corrupt politicians. Thing. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. that's third way Bill Clinton neoliberalism right there. You right. cannot possibly be serious that we, I didn't know that. That's wow. Yes. So she's like playing both sides of the corrupt gangs. Uh, okay. Yeah. Of so, caucus more, even more than I did already, because wow, why would you even let this person join your ranks after they did that? I'd be like, hold up. Well, the Progressive Caucus has like, I think, over 100 members. And I think the term progressive, uh, yes. they, don't, they don't do a, they don't do a, stringent uh, strip search, so to speak, or vetting uh, of progressives. Uh, you know, there's a squad in there, this and that, but- There's yeah. also some conservative. Yeah, I hear your point. Right, so it, <laughs> it's, very, it's very interesting because literally, yeah, I agree with David, Jayapal is trying to climb a ladder. Uh, she, as soon as there was a little heat on her from the media, for uh, the for pro her and other progressives holding out on the bipartisan infrastructure deal, if they didn't get build it, build back better uh, at the same time, she folded like a cheap tent. Uh, but to me, like what is going on here? And you know, some people who I don't agree with said, "Well, Nina Turner will just sell out too." Yeah, well, just because you're unhappy with the squad, don't project it onto Nina Turner, who yeah. has a pretty decent record of fighting, but. You know, this is, I don't know if it's going to be so influential in Cleveland. I don't really think a lot of these voters have heard of the Progressive Caucus or give a shit. But it just shows you what rational reason, because Pramila Jayapal, because this doesn't happen without her blessing, have for fun, for uh, endorsing this. She, Chantel Brown has been in Congress for five minutes. Colin, if you have the open secrets list of her donors, I mean, yeah. look at. Wow. Look, Look at her, um, let me get the contributors here. Number one, pro-Israel America PAC, $781,000. They were the ones, they were the ones flooding the airwaves, mailers, basically calling Nina Turner an anti-Semite because she, oh, she, so she, she dared say anything about Palestinian human rights. Then you have RMS. They, they did the same thing to Bernie Sanders, which is like, wow, really? Yeah. <laughs> Then you have RMS Investment Group, which is in Ohio. Real estate. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, real estate group. Rock Holdings. Another. Uh, this is a mortgage company. Yeah. PNC Financial Service. Banking. PNC. Wow. So the top, top uh, basically the top four out of five are either finance, housing, real estate, or, you know, pro-Israel groups. 
Yeah, not just a, a far right pro Israel group. Like this is, you know. Right. And like not three years ago, literally four months ago, she was not for Medicare for all. She's not for public, free public college. She's not for a green deal. Now suddenly she becomes a congressperson and she says, oh, I'm for Medicare for all. No, she's not. No, you're not. Yeah. I mean, yeah. honestly, I, I've never jumped on to like hashtag fraud squad and these things because I'm not 16. But you can't, you can't, you cannot sugarcoat this. No. They are literally trying to obstruct and beat. The yeah. progressive caucus is literally trying to obstruct and beat the actual progressive. And maybe Pramila Jayapal is twisting herself into a pretzel saying, well, we don't think Nina has a chance of winning, so we'd rather endorse um, I'm the so incumbent. Deep. So, so Wait, she'll, owe us, she'll owe us and vote with us. Are you out of your fucking mind? I'm out of their minds. That is the worst thinking that these folks engage in. I can't take that line of reasoning. It's like, wait, they're not going to win anyway. Well, you know what? You're not helping them to win. You guys do everything that you can to, to let these guys get defeated. And that's on you. It's like a uh, self, what's the word for that? Self-defeating. Yeah, self-defeating, but also like you're, you're projecting what's going to happen. You're making that happen by doing what you're doing, right? It's not just that she's not going to win. You're helping her not to win. Maybe right. if you put a little effort into like defeating the other person, that would change. Well, also, you know, it, it, it's kind of crazy because literally you, their rationale is like, we don't think, maybe we don't think Nina Turner's going to win. She lost by 434,000 votes That's in the dead of summer. Yeah, that is, a, of, she could very half, easily make up those 4,000 votes. Yeah, half of the people didn't even know there was an election. Half the people don't know when there's a normal primary at the normal time. But this was in the first week of August. And by the way, Cori Bush lost by le nearly 30,000 votes in 2018. She came back in two years and won by three or 4,000 votes. So I don't know what their rationale is. Seems to me it's not lazy thinking or it's not being, uh, you know, just thinking they're going with the winner. Seems to me David Sorota is right, and she is a political ladder climber. Uh, I've spoken with people in Seattle when I've reported there who did not have a lot of kind words for her, progressives. Uh, but it really, really, I don't think this will be determinative. Uh, Bernie endorsed Nina yesterday, by the way. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, I think Pramila Jayapal just showed her stripes. So I don't really care what she tweets out. I don't really care what she says uh, in CNN interviews anymore. Uh, frankly, Rokana is part of the Progressive Caucus. I don't, you know, we can't blanket it that everyone in the Progressive Caucus endorsed uh, Chantel Brown, but he could come out right now and say, I don't agree. I agree. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't agree with this, and I support Nina Turner. If, if he has, somebody sent it to me. I didn't see that. Uh, so this is just another example of progressive, excuse me, paper tiger progressives who yeah. are just going along to get along. Yeah, I agree. It's terrible. And then they wonder why people are cynical, why they don't trust politicians. This is why. Right. And by the way, uh, let's see, T just said this. Great point. Jaya Paul's Biden told me he has the 50 votes. It was so sad. So this is somebody who literally said, I, the president gave me his word that he could deliver mansion and cinema. Are you out of your, the president who wrote the crime bill and put, helped push us into Iraq and, yeah. and welfare reform and NAFTA and has taken money from every corrupt student union bus. Um, I mean, we could thank him for student loans being if you file for bankruptcy, they stick with you. But he gave us our word. He gave us his word. It's pathetic. So you want to know something? I don't I don't care about, uh, you know, the, the pseudo leftists who say, no, if they're voting, if if they're running as a Democrat, I'm out. You know what? People vote whoever you want, support whoever you want. I'm not going to tell you, you know, it's not my job to boost Nina Turner, but let me tell you something. I don't care if she has a D next to her name. If you genuinely think you're better off or the fight for Medicare for all, Green New Deal, act, actual economic justice is with Chantel Brown rather than Nina Turner, I got a bridge, you know, I got a bridge to sell you because that's crazy. That, is, that crazy. is crazy. Thanks for watching and make sure to tune in to Status Quo's daily live stream Monday through Thursday at 5 o'clock Eastern time and Fridays at 4 o'clock Eastern time.